I told you the future was bright. Next up, Danielle Arazo. Danielle. Okay. Hello, everyone. I'm, my name is Danielle Arazzo, and I guess I'll just start. The great American president, Ronald Reagan, once said, freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. We didn't pass it to our children in the bloodstream. It must be fought for, protected, and handed on for them to do the same. Here in America, we are blessed with liberties which are protected by our country's constitution. Ever since her founding, people from all over would come to experience the blessings of freedom and a government which fears and respects the people because it is held accountable by the people. However, the last decades have shown us that our rights are not exempt from extinction. Now, most of us in this room probably assume Idaho is a Republican stronghold. We think Idaho will never lose her freedoms. She's standing strong in a midst of a very crumbling United States. But the truth is we have already started losing our freedoms. And my first example of this is our government-owned territory. Currently, the federal government controls more than 60% of Idaho's lands. That makes Idaho fourth in the nation with the most government-controlled territory. That land represents wealth. It represents jobs. It represents security. It represents the reducing of our housing, housing crisis. It represents building out instead of up. It's it represents financial security for us here in Idaho. It's wealth that we cannot take advantage of because our federal government is controlling land they acquired unlawfully. Also consider who we're electing here in Idaho. Many of those running as Republicans do not actually hold to the principles of freedom. Just because someone claims to be a conservative does not mean they will be able to stand up and never back down to tyranny. And by the way, all politicians who accepted any COVID money have already sold our liberties. By our electing anti-American politicians, we have already began to see our liberties diminishing little by little. The truth is, though, the stealing of our freedoms didn't start in the modern day. Government proposals to defy the Constitution and limit our freedom have been around ever since America was founded. The, in, the abridgment of freedom of speech, the many invasive departments of government, the institution of taxes upon our property and our income, gun control, Forced vaccinations, the inability to travel or commerce without proof of vaccination, the lack of election integrity, even in states as great as Idaho, these are all examples of the attacks on our rights as Americans. And as long as we do not wake up, our freedoms will die and Idaho will be no better than her sister states of California, Oregon, and Washington. Our country was born because there were men who were not willing to submit their God-given liberties to any earthly ruler. While it is convenient to give up a little liberty for some security, the truth is, if we truly believed in freedom, if we truly wanted freedom, we would be willing to sacrifice a few comforts of enslavement for the hardships of freedom. 
The champion of Scottish freedom, William Wallace, once said, I tell you the truth. Freedom is the best possession. Never then succumb to the yoke of the oppressor. Thank you, and God bless Idaho.